church you see there is fully air conditioned uh, centuries old and sa loob niyan yung remains ng governor general and for those of you who plantitos and plantitas like me you'll be happy to see those centuries old acacia trees no? growing healthy and strong yung dalawang trees dyan nung araw okay so let's go around. Oh, by the way, dami daming cats dito. Nakakatuwa. <laughs> Kasi I love cats. Nabanggit ko na, no, na ano dati to. Uh, what do you call this? Dito lalagay yung mga pitch ng intramuros. Until ginawa nilang ginawa na yung libingan ng mga cholera vitrin of the 19th century okay see how well, well maintained the garden the garden is noon wala pa to hindi ko alam para sa naman look around hindi na ko alam fountain sayang they have a bird house I wish I can see what it says. Hindi ko siya mababasa kasi it's too far. Hindi natin zoom in. Beautiful! Ang ganda-ganda dito. So peaceful, maliwalas, ahimik, 
you really can com commune with nature. Look at that. Adobe church. Look at that. Solid adobe. Stone church. Air condition sa loob yan. There's some information. There. This dome and oval chapel had an altar that was originally white and gold on each side of the altar are the repositories for the remains of governors and bishops. Okay. Let's go. Dito may osary or osario kung saan nililibing yung mga infants. Uh, if I remember right, banda dito yan. You can see the crypts. Sinarado na nila yan. Nung bata ako, may mga bukas pa dito noon. Ngayon, lahat sarado na. Okay. Let's go see the Osario. Sorry. Sorry about that. Mm, sarap. Sarap siya naman dito. Yun, yun ang osaryo. Hmm. Oh, there's my name. See? Infant site. Ito yung osaryo. Dito nilalagay yung mga babies na namatay. at sarado na. Oh, may isa pa dito <coughs> crypt na may pangalan. Can you read it? So, W, B, B, S, N, L, Corazon, the two abuelo, the two padres. Sorry, hindi ako nakatag-Spanish. <laughs> hindi rin nakikinig sa nanay ba nung tinuturoan ako ng Spanyol. Kaya, It says 7, V, may motor in 5, 12, 18, 12, could be, I'm not sure. <coughs> Ito ang usari, tapos may daan sa taas. Hindi muna tayo dadaan dyan ha, punta tayo sa marker kung saan ulang nilibing si Seri Sal. Okay? Oh, beautiful. So many memories. Another place. Mas most probably ginagawa na siyang venue. No? Clean, no? See? And it's clean. Very clean. You can hold your venues here, uh, your events here. Oh, there it is. Ayun na si, si Pepe. Another point of entry and exit. Go into the church and the oval. And there it is. Dito, unang inilibing si Seri Sal. Ito ang kwento dyan. And these are facts. Nung... In-execute si Rizal sa bagong bayan, <clears throat> hinanap ni Narcisa yung kanyang kapatid na nakababata. Oh, let me say it in English in case may hindi nakantindi ng Tagalog. <clears throat> si, when Jose Rizal was ex executed in bagong bayan on December 30, 1896, Nobody knew where he was buried, where his remains were uh, was interred. So, si Narcisa, napansin niya, uh, so Narcisa noticed at the gates of Paco Park, the one that I showed you earlier, there were a lot of Guardia Civil. So, she wondered, I mean, uh, so she 
uh, assumed that uh, his her brother could be inside Paco Park. So what she did, she she asked the Guardia Civil allow her to give a uh, proper respect to where Rizal, Rizal's remain was thrown as I read kasi unmarked grave ito nung araw unmarked grave ko nung pinatay si Jose Rizal walang, walang cross? nothing um, Narcisa only concluded that this site was where Rizal's body was uh, buried because th this was the only site where where the grounds were freshly dug up I will share a picture <clears throat> in this video no actual photo during that time when Narcisa uh, placed this across Ay, uh, yeah the and she marked it nga pala RPJ para hindi malaman na this was where Rizal's body was buried because they feared that his remains might get exhumed and um, you know thrown elsewhere and be left to oblivion so that's why it's not it's not JPR it's not Rizal it's RPJ just to mislead okay so let's read the marker. The <clears throat> Sarah Resolve executed December, uh, 30, December 1896, interred secretly in this spot by the authorities of the same on the same day. Guarded for 15 days by the Gorgeous Civil Veterana, remains exhumed 17 August 1898. That was when Rizal's remains was transferred to Bagumbayan or Luneta, kung nasan yung kanyang uh, monument nakatayo. Placed in an urn made by Teodoro Romualdo de Jesus, deposited in the house of his mother in Estrad Street, Binondo, and on December 30, 1912, laid beneath his monument at the Luneta. There. So, in August 17, 1898, nilagay sa urn, nilagay sa nanay, and on December 30, 1912, nilagay sa Luneta. And by the way, the monument of Rizal in Luneta was made in Switzerland. And it was not designed by a Filipino, but if I recall it right, an Italian. Nagkaroon kasi ng... Oh, let's go around. Nag oh, look at that yuca. Oh, mga plantita, ganda oh. And then yuca tree. Anyway, going back, um, nagkaroon ng uh, contest ng araw sa pagde-design ng Rizal Monument. Uh, and the first placer, sorry, I can't remember who. Basta ang kwento nun, yung talagang nanalo sa pagde-design ng Rizal Monument. Hindi, na, hindi nila ginamit yung design na yun kasi it was too expensive ang daing basket plan <laughs> easily distracted no? Ayun, um, it was too expensive to execute kaya they opted for the second place winner at ayun na nakikita natin ngayon sa Rizal Monument the second place winner na yun try ko maghanap ng photos and try ko rin ilagay sa video oyster plant ang ganda ng pagka landscape ang linis 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 oh may isa pa doon na hindi ano hindi nila tinanggal mark tignan natin sino siya Mamaya, punta tayo sa kabila. Doon naman sa marker. 
ilang gumborza. Ayan. Hindi nila tinanggal to. Died 1907. Can you see that? That's Morgorito Miguel de Cobarubias. Died 9-1-1907. Ang esposo ay ito. Mm, basket plants. You see? The garden. Nakaka, nakaka relax. Ang tahimik. Ang ayos. This must be their office na. Oh, don't forget, this place is open from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. only. Perfect para mag-exercise. Hello, Mimi. Cats of Paco Park. Pinapakain niya ng administrator. Oh, sorry. Sorry, hantik. May hantik na nag-ano sa akin. Ayan. <laughs> Doon tayo, Bi? Oh. Hantik. Piggyback ka. Bye-bye, baby. Ang mga masikipag na nagme-maintain ng Paco Park. Gusto man ang makikidaan po. Morning po. Punta naman tayo sa marker. Sinagumbulsa. Sinagumbulsa. Ang three marker, please. Na, who were executed oh by the way, bago muna ako magkwento rubber tree o oh, ayan yung mga libun, mga almost a thousand pesos na binibenta pero ito common, hindi siya yung mga black prints, lemon lime these are the rubber trees na kinalaki ng panong bata ako okay okay, hello kong bunta ayan ang kuntod, may nagumbursa. Uh, going back, Gumbursa stands for Gomez, Burgos, and Zamora. They were the three martyr priests who were executed by a guillotine during the 19th century. Uh, 18... Hindi ako sure. Ito, 1812, if I'm not mistaken. Ay, ah, 1872 yun, yun uh, I'll read this memory for you first the mortal remains of the three martyred priests fathers Jose A. Burgos Mariano Gomez and Jacinto Zamora were buried in this hallowed ground after their execution on 17 February 1872 for complicity in the Convita Mutiny this marker was unveiled by His Excellency Fidel V. Ramos, President of the Republic of the Philippines, on February 17, 1998, on the occasion of the martyrdom of the three priests. Actually, ang sabi sa na mga nabasa ko at na panood ko na galing sa mga historiador, according to historians, eh, sorry, the the three priests were actually um, po, uh, political political move ang nangyari sa the three priests kaya sila um, uh, sinabit sa Cavite Mutiny kasi Padre Burgos was one of the most influential mestizo priests during the time he was instituting a lot of reforms in the uh, <clears throat> in the church and the at Centre during the time most of the priests were Espanol and they were what do you call this intimidated by the power that the uh, Padre Burgos by the influence of Padre Burgos FYI Padre Burgos has 7 degrees had 7 degrees okay 
ganun siya katalino at kasipag mag-aral and he's already in the position of power within the clergy kaya siya pinuliti ka at sinabit ang kanyang pangalan sa Cavite Mutiny na wala naman siyang kinalaman kasama ni na Padre Gomez na naging ano rin na uh, um, instituting reforms also sa kanyang uh, anong tawag doon? sa kanyang parokya sa Cavite si Gomez ang um, itong mga paring to not much I don't know much about uh, Samora except that um, siya yung pinakabata itong dalawang parang ito si Burgos and si Gomez um, they're uh, parang um, ini-institute ko na yung parang pay forward policy kung saan yung mga mayayaman nilang members sa parokya pinag-pay forward nila sa mga less fortunate ng mga Filipino. Okay? There you go. I hope you enjoy the Terra Paco Park. Beautiful Paco Park. Yung araw when I was uh, when, when I attended church dito sa um, St. Pancrasius this place may see Ardon kung saan right beside the rubber tree there was a comfort room there na sobrang sukal ngayon maayos na siya ang laki ng pinagbago I think that's lang ka galing ganda ganda na ngayon ang Paco Park after 4 decades may lock na kabalik beautiful well maintained Kaya, please support our parks and keep it clean. Hindi ako, hindi ko alam kung alin dito yung ginawa ng mga Escuela de Talier. May inayin sila dito. Hindi ako short. Here's another cat. Cat of Taco Park. <laughs> pinapakain nila yan dito kaya kung may mga volunteers sa mga sa area ng Paco, baka gusto nyo mag-contribute para less gasto sa mga ano sa mga nagme-maintain ng Paco Park kasi it's coming out of their own pocket as nakwentohan ako kanina Kaya tayo, tingnan natin. Oh, by the way, ang Paco Park nga pala, may outer wall, may inner wall. Pakita ko sa inyo, kaya tayo. Oh, meron silang urban garden. Look at that. Langka, breadfruit. Look at langka. Yan yung mga propagations. Yung sarap naman. Yun yun yun. That's where we went kanina, yung Otario. Ah, sarap ng breeze. And that's the side of the chapel. St. Pancrasius Chapel. Ito tayo. <clears throat> so you can see yung inner wall and <laughs> Walking distance to the bahay namin dito sa Paco. <laughs> Walking on top of the outer wall and 
journey for the trip. Pwede na kayo mag-emote emote dito. Hindi <laughs> ba sarap mag-aral dito kung meron ng on, ano, face to face ano, classes? Ah, Old Swiss and pa lang pala. There you go. Old Swiss and pa lang pala siya. Masarap ang sausages dyan ng araw. Makuhang kung ngayon hanggang ngayon. ng rubber tree will grow that big kaya huwag niyong pagtatabi-tabihin sa garden nyo unless gusto niyong <laughs> dalhin ng rubber tree yung bahay niyo see? is it? Okay. may arch din yung doon so there you go that's the tour of Paco Park Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming with me. You all stay safe. Bye bye.